Hi everyone, welcome back to my tech support channel. Today in this video, we are going to look at how to send an email using VBCS. So there's a frequent requirement where a user want to send that email notification and how we can achieve that. So before we deep dive into how to send an email, I will request everyone to please subscribe my channel to get regular updates of my YouTube channel. And you will learn more and more on from my YouTube channel. Okay. Okay, guys, I would like to give one information here that I'm publishing one of my first book on Visual Builder Cloud Service. The name is Effortless App Development with Oracle. Visual Builder Cloud Service, which will help you to learn Visual Builder Cloud Service end to end. I have covered a lot of real time examples in this book. You can buy this book from this Bitly link, which will take you to the pack pack site and you can buy it from there apart from this i have few online courses which will help you to learn oracle integration cloud and another course a way to learn oracle integration cloud so this is a new course and this is as per the new version of oic and both are available on a different bitly link you can just go there and then buy my course Similarly, I have another two courses. One is related to the API platform cloud service, and the second is OIC real time use case. Another two courses, the Visual Builder cloud service and then process cloud service, both are available on a different, different link. And one more thing, you can become a member of my channel where I'm providing three perks, phone call on demand, web session support, proof of concept. You can go through this YouTube link to know more about the membership of this channel. Okay. So guys, uh, in order to send an email VBCS, you have only one option like the business objects option. As of now, we don't have another option in the VBCS. So you have to create a business object if you want to send an email and you have to create a business role. And in that business role, you have to use a function called send email notification, which is inside your business roles. So you using this send email notification, you can trigger an email to and number of users and it can be a dynamic it can be static too so let's get started and see how to send an email using vbcs okay so here what i have done is i have created an business object called an employee right where i am just using the email address the first name and then last name okay so what i want i want to send an email notification to a user once an employee is inserted into this particular table so for this i am going to write a business rule and i am going to write a object trigger role here okay so this is the only way to write to send an email to our users okay so let's just send and send email okay so you can use any event let, let's say before insert event i will use this before insert event but you if you want to use it you can use another events too and then click on a create object trigger. Once you do that, this uh, will come here, which will allow you to uh, run the condition like execute conditionally, always execute or the custom code. So use always execute first of all, and then click on this plus add condition. On this plus add condition, you will be landed onto this page where you will see one action called send email notification action. So simply drag and drop. So once you drag and drop here, you will see you can create your template or you can just provide a static body here. It means dynamic body too, but here you have an option to choose this save as a new template so that you can use the same template for other email notifications too. If you don't want to save it, you can use only save for this action only. So here, let's say, You can say you can create a parameters like this and you can say you are onboarded okay and you can rename it you can say first name like this okay and here hi you can say similarly congratulations you are on board successfully and then regards 
hrt something like this okay so here also this is a parameter you can say first name only okay one and then click on the save button here you see the parameter which you create will be visible in this parameter list okay you can provide the name here let's say first name only similarly you can say last name okay here you see now you you need to uh, send an email to someone or recipients you can provide a static value okay here or you can provide an expression so i will send an email to the users the user email address okay just and then click on the okay button fine the email will go from this nobody at oracle.com fine and then done go to this object trigger now what you can do as soon as our new record will be inserted into this business object our email will be triggered so let's see let's try to test this business row okay so let's try to insert a let's say direct to i will just provide a valid email address okay fine let's say mc okay so when you use this send email notification this add row function will take time or insertion will take time because the send email notification takes time to send an email but let me just click on the add row so here you see it's taking time because it is using the send email notification function as the second time so let it be okay it's going to take time okay no not much but here you see the record has been inserted now let me just open my email address and we'll show here you can see my email the hi chen or maybe hi chen congratulations you are onboarded successfully and here you see ankur maybe let me see it again what i did here why i'm getting jane only here or oh, here because i have just selected the last name so you can send a complete name as well you can do an expression like the first name plus last name like this okay now first name last name will go done okay let me just try to insert one more time same record i draw <laughs> yeah the record has been inserted let me just here you see hi ankur chen congratulations you are on board successfully so this is how you can send an email in the vbcs so guys guys that's all about this uh video if you liked my video please like comment and share and please don't forget to subscribe my channel in order to get uh regular updates of my channel you can view me over linkedin twitter facebook pinterest and you can see my blog too. Thank you. Bye-bye.